My first Subaru uh, was an 81 hatchback two-wheel drive. And we jumped it like 21 times one night out here and it wouldn't die. So at that point I was kind of sold on it and uh, kind of took off from there. They won't do what a Jeep will do, and they won't do what a Scout will do, or anything like that, but if you force them, they'll do some things that are pretty amazing for a car, you know? They, they just shouldn't do some things that we make them do. There's a gate, a, a gate across the road that we're going to be going up. They got it set up so that just regular cars can't get up there and get themselves in trouble. So. Kind of the poor man's wheeling, wheeling crew in a way of speaking. You know, I bought the tires off Craigslist for 150, and everything else that I put into it, you know, has been built either by me or somebody in the in the group. You know, and we all have our things we're capable of doing to all sustain, you know, having lifted cars and being able to go wheeling. There's a lot of people that say, you know, it's really cool, I'd like to do that. And then you kind of explain what you've done and they're like, yeah, maybe, I know. you know, it's, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And the worst part is, is that it, it's hard on the rig, especially when you do what we do. I can't imagine how, if I were to put it into, into hours, how many hours I've spent up here. A lot of it's wheeling and a lot of it's broke down. <laughs> go up there and sometimes things will go really bad, you know. You break a control arm, you break 500 stub axes, you, whatever the case is, and you know, everybody just kind of bands together and you'll either get it fixed or it'll drag you out of the woods, but you know, it's kind of that whole no man left behind thing. I'm trying to say I'm scared here, but I'm not thinking this. I always say, you know, when we get to the parking lot, I'm like, whew, half the battle's over, you know, just getting there. But yeah, the real battle is when you get up there and try to get back without losing your mind and breaking your car in half. And then go back out to do it again the next week, you know, or the next month. But that's what it's all about.